Two and a half minutes to the opening bell, and we're looking at the markets with David Barnson. You say, I read your stuff, David, uh, yeah, religiously, the country is not ready to embrace socialism. I absolutely agree with you there. And is that why the market's been going up? It is. It's why the House is going to see seats net-net go to Republicans, not to Democrats. No one's talking about that story. We're wisely focused on the Senate. Obviously, there's all the drama around the presidential race. A rejection of the extreme parts of the progressive left and the socialist label is really clearly been rejected in this election. So does that mean that come time for talks about some kind of stimulus package, which uh, Leader McConnell says we're going to get by the end of this year, it'll be much more moderate and cooperative, this stimulus package that's coming? I don't agree with uh, Leader McConnell that we're going to get one in the lame duck session. I think he should say so, and I think he should try for it, but I'll be very surprised if that ends up happening. I think there will be a stimulus bill done after the inauguration, and I think it'll be much smaller than it would have been. I think Pelosi gambled. I understand why she did it. She didn't want to give the appearance of a victory to President Trump, but she lost this gamble badly. I'll be very surprised if they even get to a trillion dollar mark on the final stimulus. Um, I think it'll be some Something about half or less than half of what it would have been. It'll be much more targeted and and yeah, I wouldn't use the term less socialistic, but I think it'll be less silly in, in its <laughs> direct aid to states. And I think it'll be more targeted where the help is actually needed. McConnell has that leverage now because he doesn't have to worry uh, as, as things appear to be going. He won't have to worry about pacifying a Republican president who wants a big deal. He'll be dealing with more traditional Republican senators that are going to want to spend less and do so in a more you know intelligent way trend in the market give me 20 seconds it's still on the upside the trend it, it, it is and a lot of it has to do with the fact that the market is wised up so much about the covid sensationalism nonsense all the cases growing and growing and the markets are shrugging it off because they now have finally learned this is not leading to the dire straits that everyone had been predicting for so long Oh, and also, the Senate staying with the Democrats takes away all that tail risk of tax increases. All right. David, they're ringing the bell. Time's up. David Barson, thanks for joining us. See you again soon.